We've been hearing a lot of big things come out of the audio industry recently, but sometimes it's the little things that matter the most. And if you give me five minutes, I'll tell you all about it. So the JLab JBuds Mini are quite possibly the smallest earbuds I've ever used. True to their name, they are excessively small and can fit on a key ring so you can take them with you wherever you go. Also true to their name, they are insanely easy to lose. This is actually her second pair. We actually lost the first ones in the office somewhere. We have no idea what the heck happened to them, which is probably why you should install the app before using them because it has a find my feature. These little guys weigh in at a whopping 3.3 grams, which is half of the weight of the Sony WF-1000 XM5s. You are not going to have to worry about too much weight being applied onto your ears because, well, there's hardly any in the first place. The earbud shape is contoured to fit nestle right into the concha, and it has a very shallow nozzle, which is great for people who tend to have issues with some other true wireless earbuds. Unfortunately, the nozzle is cylindrical, so it won't meet your ear perfectly, but it actually has a decent chance of staying in. With an IP55 rating, these will appeal to gym rats and exercise junkies because a little splash of water is not going to harm these earbuds. No matter how sweaty you get, these will be fine. There is no active noise cancellation with these earbuds. They're $40, what do you expect? However, because it's fairly easy to get a decent fit, they isolate fairly well. Now, these are fairly cheap earbuds, so it's no surprise that these are SBC only. So there's really no higher bitrate codecs and you're not going to be using these for any critical listening anytime soon. These are earbuds meant to go with you anywhere, as evidenced by their size and their features. Because there's not a lot of advanced features, there's no ANC, uh, the battery life is actually pretty good at five hours and change. If you want to get more battery life out of these, you're going to have to listen at a lower volume, and that's basically all you can do. To keep the good news rolling, microphone quality is actually really good with the JLab JBuds Mini, and you don't have to take my word for it either. On our site, you can see that half of all respondents have rated the mic quality good in all of its applications. This is pretty impressive for a set of $40 earbuds. Of course, as they are cheap earbuds, they do struggle a bit with noise rejection, so if you're going to be in a very windy area, maybe delay that phone call. So, the bittersweet. In order to connect these to your phone, you absolutely must have the app. It's frustrating, especially for those who don't want to share information with a third party, but JLab's app is pretty good and one of the best we've seen. It's got a 10 band equalizer, a find my feature, which is absolutely mandatory for these. <laughs> oh, I wish we had done that before we started this. And there are other good features too, like enabling a pass through feature or volume limiting to make sure that your kids don't blow out their ears too early. As far as the sound quality goes, for these, you're getting a lot more than you're paying for here. Sure, the sound is quite bassy by default, but that's actually a good thing if you're gonna be exercising out in the world because a lot of the noise that makes it through tends to be in that low range, so you need more bass in order to drown out the outside noise. Feature, not a bug. So true to what we've been seeing with other Harman-ish responses, uh, there is a peak between six to eight kilohertz, which will enhance some small sounds like guitar picks and a string plucks. It's really okay, it's a taste thing. We don't really care for it, but then again, if you're worried about instrumental tracks not sounding the way they should in the presence of noise, this could actually help that illusion and make your sound quality appear to be better than it actually is. But for 40 bucks, who's complaining? These are great. Price and availability. Now, availability is gonna be a little bit weird given that these are, JLab is not exactly a household name, um, but that's okay. You can go online on Amazon or the JLab website and find these for $39.99, which is a steal, really. Uh, I'm actually surprised these aren't <laughs> more places. Really, if you're looking for an alternative where $40 is still too much for you, you may wanna check out the Skull Candy Dime 3, but Really, there are trade-offs there too that you might want to check out for into our bit review video over here. You're not really going to find that many true wireless earbuds uh, under $40 that have this. You're going to be making some large trade-off, whether it's in the waterproofing or the app or the quality, and that's kind of a big deal. These are fairly unique at their price point. And if they were simply small earbuds with a key ring, 
that would be reason enough for many people to buy them. It's just icing on the cake that they actually perform well too. And uh, for those of you not keeping score at home, I think that's been five minutes. Thank you for joining us here at Sound Guys, and as always, happy listening.